Today, we're gonna make some prison hooch, also known as toilet wine. Good shit. All right, we're gonna try and be as authentic as possible. Aphonic. Aphonic. We got an actual fucking toilet. It's a brand new one though. This ain't one of the metal ones in prison or jail. It ain't been shit in yet. Uh, now, we, we never been to prison before. Hopefully we never have to go. <laughs> but uh, I know a lot of people that have, and we're gonna show you what's up. Hell, I even got a buddy here now. Shouldn't be there, but he is. Kind of got fucked over. <laughs> I think they sentenced him a little bit too much time, but that's just my opinion. Uh, you're gonna need a bag of oranges every day when you're in jail. If you're not like locked in for a long time, they give you an orange every single day and a bologna sandwich. Bologna sandwich and an orange for lunch every single fucking day. So you wanna cut the oranges in half, squeeze them, just throw them in there. Here, I'll let you do that. You, you get sticky. Wow for me. Fuck that, man. I don't want to get sticky, bro. You can't wash your hands. You've been to jail. You've been sticky before. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Squeeze them. The big old hands of Harambe. Hands of Harambe. Next thing you know, we'll be making fucking ramen noodle breaks and shit. I'm gonna trade mine for tater chips. You gonna trade yours for dip? Squeeze them good, homie. Now all we need is a tattoo that's misspelled and we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, shit. Then you get one covered up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never had one misspelled. Uh, I had some ugly tattoos when I was a kid, but I never was dumb enough to have one misspelled. I mean, if you don't know it's misspelled, is it misspelled? I've seen a dude that had East Side on him, but it said S Side because the A was missing <laughs> and it looked like his kid had done it. All right, put some water in there. They give you sugar packets in jail. Uh, now they give you all, all kinds of shit. So when? Keep going. That's good. We're gonna add a little sugar. We don't have the packets. We just got a bag of sugar. Well, they don't have yeast in jail. At least they didn't used to. And then uh, to get a little acidic, we got ketchup packets. Heinz. I'm gonna give you a little more. Get straight to the point. Yeah, I think they get the picture with the packets. So instead of using yeast, Every time at dinner when you're in jail, they give you a slice of white bread on every fucking tray. And that's the most important part of your day. They wouldn't trade that for anything. A slice of bread. That's what our yeast is going to be. I think that's everything, if I remember correctly. So, squash it all up. Squash it around. Manhandle it. Now you could do it a little different, add a couple apples. You don't see too many apples when you're locked up. Cover it. Water. A little more, uh, a little more water. You want it submerged. 
Probably should use a little fucking dirty butt. Shower water. Oh, we live straight out of the tap, same thing. Keep on. That's good right there. I'll tie that. That's good. What you got it tied, make sure you leave some air in there. And uh, every two or three days, we're going to come out, let the air out, or, you know, let it burp. If you don't do that, that bag will explode and... Uh, you get caught. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's our toilet wine. Hooch. If you look in there, it's got a little moldy, moldy living on top of it. That's supposed to be normal. That's going to make a fucking mess. Oh, yeah, it leaked in there. I'm sweating. It'll hold it up so you can just use the corner of it's it. It's leaked, man. How the hell did it leak? I don't know. Slice it. That's going to make a mess, dude. It's like orange alcohol. That's good, bro. <laughs> I don't want a bunch of this. I just want to try it. Well, I can't move it or it's going to go everywhere. Put it back in the toilet. It's going to run out of the bottom. Ugh. Mold all over that shit. Yeah, I don't want that motherfucker. Okay, be good. Where'd you? How'd you end up with a toilet? I bought it brand new off some dude on Marketplace. It was like brand new toilet, and I was like, "Bro, that's toilet wine." <laughs> he <laughs> was like, "Are you fucking serious?" I was like, "Hell yeah, man!" Check out my channel, bitch. All right, we're gonna bottle it. Hopefully, we don't catch botulism. Fucking, they say this shit's deadly. We caught a bee. He wants some. It smells good, man. It's got a good color to it. it smells like wine. Orange wine. We're going to finish bottling this and we're going to taste it. All right, we're going to try this shit. Don't try this at home. This is dangerous. You could get botulism and die. It tastes like alcohol. It tastes like orange. Got a little, hmm, a little hint of something else in there. <laughs> That's that ketchup. <laughs> That's that ketchup. I don't know, man. Hopefully I don't die, man. I'm a little scared. Oh, you've had worse in your mouth than that. Oh, that shit will it get you a little buzz. I think I'll stick with uh, some real yeast. Or make your own yeast. You can make yeast homemade. Instead of just using slices of bread and moldy ass. I'm not going to drink none of this after this. I'm it's not even why. This ain't going to be gone by the end of the night. I do got a friend that will drink this whole bottle. I'm going to give it to him. His friend's name Phil Billy. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck your mama, bitch! It smells like oranges. You can taste alcohol in there. It's enough alcohol to get you drunk. I mean, it ain't bad. I mean, I wouldn't pimp my booty for some of this, but I would definitely trade a dessert. 